Today's Crosswalk Devotional Podcast is sponsored by the David Caleb Cook Foundation. If our podcast has been a blessing in your life, would you consider helping us get Bibles to children in Muslim countries? Go to davidcalebcook.org backslash crosswalk to donate. Your gift will help send God's Word to children around the world. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for the Crosswalk Devotional Podcast. Over the years, our editorial team at Crosswalk.com has written these devotionals, observing truths we see at the intersection of faith and life. We're thrilled to offer them to you now in podcast form. To get all of these episodes straight to your phone each week, just subscribe on iTunes or wherever you get podcasts. To find more devotional content like this, just visit us at Crosswalk.com. A Revealed Savior, written by Catherine Britton, read by Stacy Marshall. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Jeremiah 29, 13. I wish I could ask the Magi what it was like after they returned to their homeland, after watching the sky for years, journeying for weeks, and seeing Jesus with their own eyes, how did they return to the life they once knew? Did they ever hear about the rest of Jesus' life? Did they realize the Jew who was killed on the tree was the same child to whom they offered gifts befitting a king? Did they understand that his birth was a precursor to a far greater event? We don't know much with certainty about these men. They brought three gifts, gold, incense, and myrrh. But there may have been dozens of magi who went on that journey. These wise men were certainly Gentiles, probably from Persia. They acted as something close to astrologer priests in their homeland, we think, making the movements of the heavens to find out its impact on man. Judging by their gifts and their titles, their status and their wealth came close to royalty. Now consider what we definitely know about them. These magi considered it worth their time, efforts, riches, and worship to come worship at a Bethlehem house. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. Matthew 2, 10-11 These pagans searched for the Messiah as no one else did. Their adventure is an extraordinary tale of God's grace mixed with man's hunger, as they followed the star God set up in the heavens with a single-minded devotion. They were on a search for God, who had given them the signs to find him. I think these men, who knew so much less than I do about the Messiah, sought him harder than I ever have. Consider Matthew Henry's commentary on what transpired. They might have said, If such a prince be born— We shall hear of him shortly in our own country, and it will be time enough to pay our homage to him. But so impatient were they to be better acquainted with him that they took a long journey on purpose to inquire after him. Note, those who truly desire to know Christ and find him will not regard pains or perils in seeking after him. Personally, I don't think the Magi were ever the same after their encounter in the Bethlehem house. They invested themselves in finding the king of the Jews, and he revealed himself to them. I think all other stars must have paled in comparison. Intersection of Faith and Life In Psalms 8, the psalmist sings, The heavens declare the glory of God to each one of us. Those signs are calling us to seek him with our whole heart, so he can reveal himself to us more and more. This Christmas season, I want to follow the Magi's example. I want to find the mystery in the gospel so incredible that I pursue it with all my heart and all my strength and all my soul. I pray this mystery captivates your heart this Christmas. Hey listeners, thanks for joining us for the Crosswalk.com devotional podcast. To get all of our episodes straight to your phone during the week, subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to podcasts. 
To find more devotional content like this, head over to crosswalk.com. Did you know that children between the ages of 4 and 14 are four times more likely to accept Christ than they will be as adults? And that need to share the gospel and the love of Jesus with precious children is even greater in the Muslim world, where many never hear about Christ's love for them. You can help lead children in Muslim countries to Jesus by sending them a Bible through the David Caleb Cook Foundation. Your gift will send a colorful, comic-style action Bible that connects with kids so they can know the hope of Jesus. So please, give your best gift today at davidcalebcook.org backslash crosswalk and watch as God transforms these children to transform their world.